have this outfit lying around. What of it? Hades is a game with some jaw-dropping gods and goddesses. And to celebrate the early access release of Hades 2, I thought I'd take a look back at the deities from the first game and let you all know what your fave says about you. To be clear, I'm focusing on the characters' aesthetics and personalities rather than the boons they grant. Sure, your fave might be Athena because of her divine dash, but that's not very funny, is it? And in this video, I'm only going to be looking at the deities that can grant you boons. So, sorry, mommy. I mean, mommy. I mean, mommy. I mean, Nyx. Finally, the things I list under each god are not meant to all apply to you specifically. I'm covering a huge range of people under each one. But if I get even one right, you have to tell me. Deal? Let's do it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. You have a crush on Snape, Prince Zuko, and or Howl. You often find villains sexy. You're a little bit of an edgelord. Or you've had a, a little bit of an edgelord past. You've shopped at Hot Topic. You might have shipped Moriarty and Sherlock. You keep your room pretty messy. You might have been a bit of a rebel or outsider in high school. You love a deep voice like Idris Elba or Patrick Page. You're big into vampires. In Mario games, you like to play as the villain. Like, like in Mario Kart, you choose Bowser or something. You know? Halloween is your favorite holiday, hands down. You love the game God of War. You fall for bad boys thinking you can save them. You frequent Reddit. You're a fan of horror movies. You liked going into Spencer's gifts as a teenager for shock value. True wisdom only comes with age, I think. You are equally terrified and in awe of her. You had a teacher you really respected at some point. Maybe an English teacher. You have a desperate need to win approval from authority figures. You think old people with tattoos or dyed hair are rad as hell. You like Game of Thrones and Downton Abbey. The notebook made you cry. You can knit, crochet, or draw. You love a good revenge story. You're a cat person, or at the very least, like cats. If someone's telling you about a movie and then they say Meryl Streep's in it, you'll go, ooh. Respect is really important to you. You love Professor McGonagall and Zaniba. Your favorite one of the Golden Girls is Dorothy. You love a quick comeback. You're not necessarily a motorcycle person, but you get it. You have or had a close relationship with your grandma. Or wish you had one if you didn't. Hi boss, I'd ask what's new, but I already know. I have my ways. You're not into the whole alpha male mentality. You like comic relief characters in media, and often the stoner character. In relationships, a solid friendship is just as important to you as the romantic part. You like to be good buds with the person you're with. You appreciate a silly Halloween costume. You think Monty Python is absolutely classic. Your mind is blown when you see someone who can just like naturally wink at people and you melt at getting winked at. Your favorite type of jokes and shows are ones that go right past the other characters. You like both videos of kids being cute, and also videos of kids getting hurt, but obviously not seriously injured. You're not very socially competitive. You're all for bros helping bros, and girls doing it for the girls. Pinky promises mean something to you. You can smell someone's phoniness from a mile away. You like when people use a nickname with you. You like close-up magic. Your favorite season is spring or summer, whichever has the perfect amount of warmth to go outside and do things. You like soccer, lacrosse, or track and field. You like fruity sodas, like grape soda or Sprite. You have described someone as a cinnamon roll or a soft boy before. You might have a crush on Eddie Redmayne or Kumail Nanjiani. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part. You love when someone knows exactly what they want. Like, if you're trying to figure out where to go for dinner and then someone's like, I want to go to this burger place, you're like, oh my god. You love a strong female character. You might be aromantic and or asexual. You're either the oldest sibling in your family or your oldest sibling held everything together in your household. You tend to make rational decisions over emotional ones. You like the small owl. You read books. Like you, like you read books. You think Garnet from Steven Universe and Mikasa from Attack on Titan are the coolest. You hate when people do things in movies that just don't make sense. Like in a horror movie, if someone in a group is like, we should split up, you're like, ugh. When given the choice in games, you almost always prioritize building a strong defense. Your favorite flavor of Pop-Tart is brown cinnamon sugar. You think people online can be too dramatic sometimes. Loyalty is super important to you. You either had a crush on Aunt Viv and Claire Huxtable or you wanted them to be your mom and there was no in-between. Although you can admit when you're wrong, at first you tend to get a little defensive over your stances. You can find peace in cleaning chores and doing laundry. You like a cozy aesthetic. A distant friend is still a friend, isn't that right? You use the term best girl way too much. You likely also use the terms waifu and doggo. You had a guy on online account. You'll take a night in over a party any day. You've invested in some anime that is over 100 episodes long. Other fictional crushes may include Princess Mononoke, Beth Harmon, Ramona Flowers, or Katara. You also might have liked Mr. Tumnus. At some point, you either defined yourself as a gamer girl or you liked gamer girls. You like the concept of earning someone's affections. You would rather not make conversation with strangers when you go out. For some small, awkward social 
social interaction you had that you still haven't forgotten about after years. You don't look forward to extended family gatherings. You might be part of the LGBTQIA community, perhaps a romantic or asexual. You yell deer whenever you see a deer. When you go to the Renaissance Fair, you like to dress up as some sort of fantastical creature, like a fairy or a mushroom person, something with elf ears. You find this style of glasses endearing. If I asked you to sing a song from Steven Universe right now, you could do it. You shipped Harry and Hermione, although a few of you might have shipped Luna and Harry. I know what lies out there. I've created it. Okay, you know when people make Hear Me Out posts, but it's like Ryan Reynolds or Anya Taylor-Joy? I want to see your Hear Me Out posts. You've said for the lols, for the meme, or for the bit at some point. You're not one for small talk, but are good at listening to people. Ooh, you like when villains have like a realization moment. Maybe change their ways. You might be non-binary or androgynous. You like the humor of non-humans trying to understand people and love characters like Spot, GLaDOS, and Doctor Who. You also like the non-human comic reliefs in shows like Roger and American Dad or Bender and Futurama. You don't have a problem multitasking. You love an enemies to lovers story. You're an introvert. You have one really close friend who you've known for like forever. You have a crush on Sephiroth and prefer the Beast over Prince Adam. You like moral complexity in your media. You dig OG or Prince-style Lolita fashion. You're not the type to hoard all your items till the very end of the game. You'll use them when you need them. You were big into Undertale. The show of generosity for my most favorite nephew. You might have had a crush on King Triton. You've been to in love or would love to go to Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. You crave words of affirmation. You might have been into skateboarding or playing soccer as a kid. You love Super Bowl parties. You are all about Golden Retriever energy. You fake sick days to get out of going to school. You think Major Armstrong is one of the most underrated Full Metal Alchemist characters. Your favorite color is a cool color. You don't think going to a strip club with a family member is weird. You go for Brian and Dream Daddy. You either have a cool uncle or are the cool uncle. Or you want to be the cool uncle one day. Your Halloween costumes are minimal effort, but you'll bring the good vibes. As soon as it's summer, you're like, bring out the grill. You like wrestling. You feel the song Just Can't Wait to Be King in your soul. Don't work yourself too hard down there, you promise, little goblin. Straight to horny jail. And if you don't think so, let me put an eye tracker on you real quick. Yeah. You like ladies who have a little bit of a bitchy side. You probably married Haley in Stardew Valley. I like being talked down to a little in a, in a sexual way. Past crushes include Megan Fox in Jennifer's Body and Margot Robbie in Wolf of Wall Street. You love drama and messiness, especially when you're not involved. You like to keep a colored light on when you bone. You had one of these Bath and Body Works scents growing up. Sweet Pea, Warm Vanilla Sugar, Moonlight Path, Japanese Cherry Blossom, Strawberry Daiquiri, or Black Amethyst. When you were a kid or a teenager, in the mall, you would kind of like sneak a peek at the Victoria's Secret stores you walked by. You like wearing sexy versions of Halloween costumes. When given the choice in games, you almost always prioritize boosting attack power. You liked Junko the most in Danganronpa. You have a fake account on one or more social media platforms. You like the smell of the Abercrombie and Fitch store, as well as Axe Body Spray and Old Spice. It was amazing, man. Let's have another one sometime, all right? Do you think he's hot? I don't care what gender you are or what sexuality you possess, you saw Dionysus and went, damn! You're not necessarily someone who likes to party, but you like to imagine yourself as someone who might like parties. You also like Artemis. You're impressed in a, in a strictly like physical, transfixed way with his frog legs. You're like, what exercises do I have to do at the gym to get those? You often think that people need to chill out. When you go to a wedding, you drink. You admire super charismatic people. You love yourself a smooth talking villain. You miss late night hangs and just staying up with your friends as a teenager. You watch Yuri on Ice and or JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and totally have crushes on multiple characters in them. You might be bi or pansexual. You're a sucker for a British accent. You're a big sweatpants slash joggers fan. Some other fictional crushes may include Thor, Naveen, or Marshall Lee. You're a K-pop stan. Your best friend is super type B. You wish 70s lingo like psychedelic or groovy baby would come back into fashion. Luckily, I'll do you favors aplenty. Are you sure? I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about boons, but I, I think you like his boons. Yeah, okay, here we go. You liked Zeus in the Disney movie Hercules. Zeus was the only god you really remembered anything about going into this game. You had or have an authoritative father figure. 
You think people who don't know how they come across are hilarious. Your favorite character in New Girl is either Schmidt because you think he's funny, or Nick because you think he's cool. You prefer Family Guy over The Simpsons. You hate when people expect you to read between the lines and wish they just say what they meant. You picked Charmander as your starter Pokemon. You did karate, wrestling, or football growing up. You respect your elders. You liked Odin in the Marvel Universe a lot. You've done less than two runs in Hades. You were Team Light in Death Note. You use the term daddy a lot. You get blinded by love easily. You want or already own a big dog. And that's what your favorite Hades deity says about you. Did I get anything spot on? Well, let me know in the comments, along with if you'd like to see this done for other characters in Hades, or perhaps Hades too. And take this all with a huge grain of salt, because after all, it's all just pixels, baby. Huge thanks to my new patrons for hopping aboard. Y'all really allow this channel to grow and blossom. And until next time, I'm gonna go say hello to Nyx. J just Nyx. The banner is the wonder why she didn't come to play. Gaming bits that'll make you laugh and think and put them on replay. Intelligent, kind of funny, her community's number one. Stick around and kick your feet up. The banner has just begun.